Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope my microphone doesn't fuck itself again because of the static sound. I really should get a new microphone, but uh, but yeah, I'll just do a quick introduction here about what we are doing today. As you guys can see, we are playing some Euro Truck. Um, I have already 44, at least 44 episodes of this series, but uh, those are in Portuguese. So I just decided to mix things up. Now let's see how this goes if I do this video in English. If uh, um, it uh, is any different in terms of audience and so on. So I'll uh, I'll just uh, I'll just try this, and we'll see. And uh, if not, uh, I will go back to Portuguese on the next video. So yeah, mainly for those who don't know, to those who don't really watch this series, I guess. I mainly use this series basically to review some map mods that I'm playing in. And also the DLCs. And I also talk about uh, other random stuff, mostly channel related, some of them, and also some, some, just some, some ranting basically about some some stuff. The Japans are uh, also on my uh, Minecraft server, the Xen server. Uh, but, but but yeah, that's mainly it. What I usually do in this in these videos. Um, so yeah, I'll start by I'll start by doing uh, uh, basically. I usually do a recap of what I what I've done in the uh, between the last episode and this one. So. I'll move on into that right now. Uh, and yeah, this is the part where I open up the map, so I'll be doing that. Uh, if I can get to the map. Uh, so yeah, I've been mainly here in Spain. Uh, our job is, as you guys can see, to Soria. I don't really know if that's how you say it in Spanish. Um, uh, but yeah, um, the last job took us here to Évora in Portugal. So I basically did this, uh, went up here, uh, he was here in Santiago. This is a, a map mod that I have. Um, I'll talk about this later on in the video. I'll just basically show you guys my route, the route that, I've, that I did. Um, yeah, then I went into Burgos, I think, and from here, I think I TP'd I, to these islands here. I just wanted to take a look of how they were, and yeah, again, I'll talk a little bit uh, about them later in the video, as we are driving along. And I also went to, well, it's not here anymore, um, you guys can guess why, but... Uh, to the West Africa map, which is basically Ghana, uh, the Equatorial Guinea, and also uh, I think this is Mauritania, if I recall correctly. Uh, and yeah, that was uh, an experience, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's mostly the jobs I've done. Uh, I also went a little bit around this area here, so from Zaragoza to Andorra, and also to Valencia and uh, down here as well. I also did this uh, part here. Um, and yeah, um, a little while ago I did this from Toulouse to here. I went on this route, which was pretty good. I think some some parts here are from Promots and other parts are from the uh, Iberia rebuild map, which is actually just Spain, I think. Because I, I have the Portugal rebuild mode as well. 
so yeah, starting by the Santiago uh, mod. Um, well, I don't really have anything to say. It's a pretty good map. I was actually impressed by the amount of detail they managed to add. So it's a really, really, really big thumbs up uh, from me. And as, uh, as you guys might know, I'm usually quite harsh uh, when I'm reviewing, kind of reviewing these maps. Well, it just uh, it just uh, rammed into me, and I have to pay the price. So, usual error truck AI, I guess. That's that's just just another damn job. We are a bit unlucky since it's night time. Do I have time to sleep so we can get some light? No, I don't. So yeah, we we'll have to do this job in the night time, which is not really ideal for the video. I should have thought about that. Uh, first, right, because uh, like I've said earlier, the main purpose of these videos are to show the maps and also kind of review them. Don't really do all the jobs uh, on camera, as you guys know, uh, but uh, yeah. Uh, after that, I went to uh, Celta and uh, Lila. Lina? No, I, I, I don't even know why, why I tried to say that, but uh, I'll just say it's Melilla for now, a Portuguese way. Um, so yeah, those were, were not bad, but were also not great. I mean, I guess they did the job, so not really mad with that. They did the job that they needed to do, so yeah, it's fine. At the end of the day, those were fine. Um, and yeah, of course, I also went to the West Africa map. Um, well, you guys don't know, but uh, a few episodes ago, I was complaining about the. Um, I mean, I was. I, I, yeah, I did a bit of complaining about the so Southeast Asia map. Um, but I wasn't really expecting. Uh, I also had bigger expectations from that, from the uh, from the, that map, than the West Africa map. I wasn't really expecting much from the West Africa map. I'm going to be honest. So I wasn't really that disappointed, disappointed in the first place, but. Uh, I, I'm really trying to find something good to say about it, but I, I really can't. Um, so, first off, the main way to go into Ghana is to take a ferry into the middle of the country. And, well, as you guys know, one of the main things that uh, I use to review the maps is the realism. I'll how realistic the maps are and I know that some of the maps are not really meant to be realistic but uh, I think West Africa is uh, I mean I think it's trying I guess maybe not sure uh, but uh, yeah taking taking that into account it's well I was I'll start from the beginning actually so we take a ferry to the middle middle of the country as you guys know there's not really uh, anything in the middle of the country. It's, uh, the coast is well on the coast, but instead of going to a city on the coast, we go to a village in the middle of the country by by ferry, mind you. So yeah, it's a bit confusing. Um, and yeah, I know there's that there's other mods that do this already to provide a connection. Uh, I think there's some of that, um, how's it called, uh, Road to Asia added it in China. And those make sense, right? I, f I think those make sense. Um, but uh, in this case, well, the author could just start it by 
building the cities on the coast and then expanding from there instead of well starting with the cities in the in the middle of the country and uh, yeah here I'm just talking really about the, the Ghana right um, well the landscape was pretty bland I didn't check with uh, Street View you guys might know why sometimes I cross check with Street View uh, I didn't really do that maybe I should but uh, it wasn't well it was pretty basic let's say pretty pretty basic uh, it was also made missing country codes, so uh, well, the country codes I'm pretty sure were wrong. Uh, in Equatorial Guinea, there's not a single. Uh, I don't really know what's the best word, but it's uh, the well, the the thing to get the job, right? The, uh, the business. I don't know. Just what what is this guy doing? Well, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, I even lost myself. Where was I? They bring this guy to the dust. Um, yeah, there in the Equatorial Guinea there was no way to get a job, and um, in Mauritania, I, I think there were a couple of jobs, but yeah, the landscape was pretty basic. I think it was better than in um, Ghana, but uh, well, Morton is basically a desert anyway, so it would be pretty hard to mess up one up. Uh, but yeah, I didn't really go too in depth. And yeah, some might say the mod is still in working progress, but uh, right now it's. I, I don't think it's playable, that's why I removed it from my. from my. Uh, mod combo I also don't really have any plans to go down there anyway even if it was good because like with uh, some other mods we just we just have a single road that we need uh, we basically need to take that road always when we want to do some kind of jobs in that area um, so going into that road once uh, I mean I already explored the road right and I mostly play to explore the roads and to complete the the map and so on with the uh, what's the best word to, to say this uh, with the explore the road I think it's really explore the roads to, well that guy well, at least I'm not the only one why is everyone getting rammed that was the the second one in a row what the fuck anyway let's continue moving I guess um so so yeah don't there's not really any point to keep uh, to keep the map installed if it had a better quality, it would probably... I'd probably be more keen on visiting it more times. But uh, right now I have no... No... Desire to go back there, so... So yeah, I just ended up uninstalling it. But yeah, it mostly comes down to... To references, right? Uh, and now I think uh, the only one I need to talk really is about the Iberia Rebuild map for Spain. I'd say it's a. The thing is, I, I don't really know 
exactly what it has. Uh, because with some of these mods that uh, modify parts of the existing world, uh, I think it gets, gets pretty hard to distinguish what the mod actually adds. Because there's a uh, Iberia DLC, there's pro mods that also touches the, this area of the world, and also this mod, so I'm not really sure which is which. There's a few things that I already know that are from this mod because uh, I found two bugs. I think one is a pretty old one, the other one I'm not sure if it's new, but uh, it happened, so so yeah. And I'll just open the map here to show you guys. The They, they are basically on this road here, so we cannot really go from one side to the other. Something here is broken. But, uh, I mean, it's just the GPS that doesn't work. We can go through here with, with other problems, so that's fine. And the same around here. here. Uh, this part here, as you guys can, know, can see, I'm not able to click on that. Um, it's actually working now. Seems like it is working, uh, but it does this weird stuff here. Um, not sure. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't wasn't really working. But uh, it was the same problem as one near Barcelona. Uh, we can just drive it through it normally without an issue, so that's fine. So it's a, just the GPS that doesn't work, so it's not that big of a deal. And, uh, well, again, I'm not really sure with which stuff these mods add, uh, adds, but uh, everything I've seen in Spain, it's pretty rock solid. I don't really have any complaints with the, with the maps in this region. They all feel pretty good. So, uh, good job on that, I guess. And also there were a couple of mods on the south of Spain. I don't really know if those are, if those areas are added by those mods or from the DLC itself. Oh, I think I'm lagging quite a bit. Am I? Not sure. Not sure, but this is weird. My recording software is uh, still lagging really hardcore. But uh, I'm not having any um, error message, so of uh, encoding the overall. But, uh, but I, I can feel my game lagging also. Yeah, I'm running at 40, 40 FPS right now. It's pretty bad. Usually I run at about 90, but it also depends on the area. Sometimes I get more, sometimes I get less. Uh, but uh, yeah, right now it's it's pretty bad. But uh, I'll just continue for now since I'm not having any um, any encoding overloaded. This might be because of the one of the areas of the mod. I suspect this is added by one of the mods, either Pro mods or the Iberia Rebuild mod. Uh, if I had to guess, probably Iberia Re Rebuild. I think Pro mods is a little a little bit better optimized. But uh, yeah, I, it 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 got normal. It's it, it's working fine. I'm I'm back to 90. Not really sure what what is happening down there, but uh, clearly clearly something needs to be uh, optimized. So yeah, we are also arriving. So are pretty good on time. I I thought this would take. Uh, a little bit uh, less time, but uh, we got time to talk about uh, everything I wanted to talk. I still really would like to go to more onto the Russian part because uh, most of the Russian mods are pretty good, so really want to revisit them. It's, it has been a while. So yeah. Um, 
Oh, and I also I I completely forgot about mentioning it, mentioning this in the last video. I was also into the the Arctic mod. I don't really know the name, but it's the one which adds uh, Canada, the Greenland, and I think some islands on the Faroe Islands. I can show you guys in a bit, um, but uh, it's basically this part up here, uh, these tiny villages, I guess, and also some of these. I'm not sure if these ones here are also added by that mod or, or from pro mods. These ones here might be pro mods, these ones might be the other mod, because as you guys can see, there are a ton of little villages clumped together, and in the pro mods areas, uh, they are more, well, it's not really that dense, let's say. So I'm not really sure which adds which. But yeah, uh, my opinion on that, it's, it's a pretty cool mod. don't really have any complaints with it, I guess. It's not uh, like the most exciting mod, of course, since most of the villages, at least in Greenland, have one or two uh, uh, job centers, I guess. Not really, no, it's the best way to call them, but uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say, the, I'd say it's a pretty good mod. But then again, it, it also has the the same problem the other mod, the other mods have, which is that uh, it's pretty hard to <sighs> scratching my nose, guys. I'm sorry. Um, it's pretty hard to what's the word? Oh fuck. Uh, it's pretty hard to find a job that goes up there, and um, well, another thing that it's that we have to take the ferry many times to go into the island that we actually want to go. So in that sense, it's uh, a bit annoying, but it could be worse. I'm really not. Uh... We're really not uh, dissatisfied with it. It's it's a pretty good mod. Probably one of the better ones as well. One thing I gotta say. Is that I don't know if it's the the DLC, the the Spanish mods or whatever it is, but. Uh, yeah, Spanish, uh, Spanish, no, uh, Spain really has uh, a ton of complex interchanges and uh, I really think that's done mostly well in the, well, I mean, what, whoever, whoever did them, I guess. So I'll just show you guys a few that I, that I know. If I can put my controller away. I mean, these ones in Valencia are pretty good. Um, there were ones up here that are actually not that good. The, the promote ones before the DLC, I think it, I think they were better. I, I think this area in general around Barcelona was better in promotes, but it was also quite laggy. So, well, it's the double-edged sword, I guess. Uh, but yeah, some around here were are also pretty cool on some on Zaragoza as well. I mean, this one, this one is quite fun. This one is here is quite fun. It's it's small, but it's it's nice. Um, and yeah, there are probably many more which didn't really remember. Uh, but yeah, the, they did a good job with the intersections on on this uh, on this map. But uh, yeah, I'll take uh, the I'll end the video here for today. I'll see if it makes sense to continue doing uh, these videos in English. If so, I'll probably um, start doing 
every single one of these videos in English, but uh, but yeah, right now I'll probably start going eastwards towards this part here. We have this stuff here to explore. And also, uh, there's a few things up here as well, which I really need to check out as well. Oh, and I, I completely forgot, but I also did this part here in uh, from Plymouth to London. Um, with uh, I also went to Exeter. Uh, I did this um, road here, the A303. Um, and also went to Valden. This road was actually pretty good. Uh, I was actually impressed. Uh, Valden, here in the center, it looks pretty outdated. That's my only co complaint about London right now. It, it looks pretty outdated in the center, especially. Uh, I'm not really sure the other parts from, I don't even know how many years ago, more than 10 years, uh, the other parts. The ones that were not really touched by pro mods, those are probably in pretty bad state. But the part that I did was pretty solid, minus the one part which desperately needs a refresh, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, some things around here, around the um, Ireland, were also reworked, and we have the Northern Ireland mod as well need to check out. Also the um, Jersey mod as well. And of course the album man. There's a, a lot of stuff that I still need to check out. Uh, but yeah, that'll be ending the video here for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye.